One thing that is both bipartisan and enduring in Congress is insider trading. We're gonna get into this conversation and talk about the many, many people that have gamed the system this year. But I wanna remind you of one thing that happened not long ago. Take a look at this. Speaker, the stock trade ban legislation, it's uniquely had broad bipartisan support, but we've been talking about this since February. Why has it taken eight months? And given the fact that uh, the media, including most recently the New York Times, launched an investigation citing 97 lawmakers and potential violation, with many of them failing to report under the Stock Act, should there be greater penalties? and the yeah. legislation that you do put forward yeah. for people to be found in violation. Here's the thing, uh, members have been working on this. Just because somebody introduces a bill doesn't mean it becomes the law of the land. Uh, th there's been um, discussion about it. And this mor uh, just recently, this morning, actually, the committee, we've been going back and forth and they were refining things and talking to members about what they think will work. And um, we believe we have a product that we can bring to the floor this month. Yeah, so no, it didn't happen and it's not going to happen. The Democrats are ending their time without passing anything to fundamentally change the way that members of Congress can use insider information that they have to personally enrich themselves. And in theory, the Republicans could take it up, that chance of that happening. And so it is a little bit convenient that Nancy Pelosi, who was initially super sensitive when you'd bring up the fact that she'd made so much money and had access to all this information and said that the law didn't need to change. Then all of a sudden had a change of heart, dragged out the process and now nothing is gonna happen. That is a very convenient thing. And it leaves us with the status quo, which allowed for a lot of financial shenanigans. And I wanna give credit as we so often do to Dave Leventhal and the team at Insider who has been constantly on this beat for several years now. Identified recently, 77 members of Congress who've recently failed to properly report their financial trades as mandated by the Stop Trading on Congressional Knowledge Act of 2012, the Stock Act, which we've made many videos about. So Congress passed the law a decade ago to combat insider trading and conflicts of interest among their own members and force lawmakers to be more transparent about their personal financial dealings. A key provision of the law mandates that lawmakers publicly and quickly disclose any stock trade made by themselves, a spouse, or a dependent child, but many members of Congress every single year don't comply with the law. And why would they? There is basically no issue if you don't. There can be a very minor fine that often isn't even levied. And think about this, this law is basically all we have. It's paper shield, it doesn't stop you from using insider information to do stock trades. The idea is supposed to be that okay, you'll use the information, but then we get to know the trades that you make. So in theory, if the public was watching, they could make the same moves, but they, they don't even comply with that. And so effectively, there's nothing to stop them from using this information and leaving the public in the dark. Brett, what do you think? No, this is, this is if I were to do a, a pitch a segment, I would call it this. And it would be just, this is the moment of Leo DiCaprio smoking a cig and just being like, that, that, that is what's wrong with Congress. <laughs> this is exactly what's corrupt. The fact that these fools are just being like, you know what? Honestly, there's nothing we could do. Uh, clock ran out. I can't believe we forgot to take our shot at this. No, you guys are acting on information that only you have. I say we yeah. completely shift this. We say once you're elected, we're gonna give you $170,000 a year. That's your salary. And you know what? We're gonna put you on a bonus structure. We're gonna invest you largely in the economy of the United States of America. Maybe the economy of your district. What did you do for your district to make your district's economy grow more? And we'll bonus you out. That's your dividend from the America Fund. I hate it. It's like, By oh, I, but I told, I told you I cheated. That's their defense. Yeah. Well, there, we have to tell you if we cheat. No, how about we don't let you cheat so at all? And, yeah. and again, I, I we, we keep making this case. And I'm, I'm glad that there have been some elected representatives. AOC was on this beat for a while pushing for, like you, you have decided to go in and serve. That's the term that we used. You're gonna yeah. serve in Congress. It's service, it's not gain. I'm not gonna go gain in Congress. I mean, that's what they literally do, but. 
the idea that there would be some restrictions on what you can do, that seems like the most reasonable thing in the world. And and by the way, the attempts to change the law haven't even been you can't invest at all. You could still invest and you can do kind of a version of what Brett is talking about. You can do investments in mutual funds and things like that, things that track like whole sectors, all of that, whatever. You can do that. You just can't invest in specific companies. That's madness. As Brett said, yes, it's like any any person knows that. Any person sees how reasonable that is, but they're making tons of money. And uh, and so why would they change it? Why would they change the law? And and why would they comply with the law? You give you an example of how this can work. Uh, one representative, Diana Harshbarger, Republican from Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, failed to disclose more than 700 stock trades together, almost $11 million in trading activity. And let's say that they don't get rid of the investigation, that they don't waive the fee. What could the fee be? It'd be $200. Why would you abide by that? Again, unless it's more than what you gain, there is no reason to abide by it. You would just factor that into the price of doing illegal business or what should be illegal business. Like letting the Russian team tell you what ster- like not outlawing the steroids, but being like, yeah, I just, I brought those steroids. I'm on those steroids. You can't do the steroids. You can't even really understand what steroids, it, like when I went into this decision process, but I'm on steroids now. You're not. Yeah. Good luck to you. Oh, and here's your $200. So I'm gonna, here are my yeah. steroids, and here's the $200, and now I'm gonna do the steroids. Doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. If they were to, imagine if they were to like expel a dozen members of Congress for insider trading or whatever, and then ban it. That would be such a strong signal to the American people that they care about corruption and are trying to stop it. And so, of course, that will literally never happen. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.